Getting to know a person is a very intimate experience in their life and their death. What strikes you is the varied stories of the people, who they were before the war, what their jobs were, the sort of totality of this person who had this seminal experience, but who lived a life before and afterwards. It's always breathtaking when you see the hills just full of white. You realize how many people are here and how much history is here and what these people did. I think any veteran just want to be remembered, hey, we're ordinary people just like all of you. And we did this because we felt the need that we had to do it. The largest initiative within the Veterans Legacy Program is to engage with the academic communities in a contract partnership in which professors, professional scholars engage their students and teach them the skills to do the research about veterans' lives, veterans from the local national cemetery. These kinds of things where the students are able to combine the, the, the sort of granular level of doing the biography of an individual along with the larger context to be able to tell that as a story and not just as a couple of bullet points. And I think it gives them a inner understanding of the importance of veterans not only in war but also peace. Then at a certain point it makes the transition from the academic to the personal and they get to know these veterans, they get to know their lives, they get to know who their children were, they get to know where they lived, what they did after, the, after whatever war they served in and they, they start to see them as neighbors from a different generation, almost friends. My veteran is Archie Hawkins. William Otto Rupp served in the First World War. My veteran was Sergeant Eugene Bartow Fricks. My veteran, Fred Kalinchuk, was a Army veteran who received a Purple Heart. So I automatically drew some connections. He's a combat veteran, which so am I. So I immediately wanted to know more about him. What's great about this, this kind of research on that level is that they are committed to the veteran, to the person. It wasn't just his military service. He's part of our heritage. Even though he's not maybe family by blood, he's contributed and shaped and developed this country. When you go to a national cemetery, you have all of these people who have one thing in common. They were veterans. Even though they might be different wars, their service to the nation didn't end with the end of the war. They continued in so many other ways. And you have to understand that because it isn't just about the war. The war also shapes the peace. I have had students say to me things like, I brought someone who had been forgotten in life and in death back to life. This is a person, like a real person with a, a long life. He lived to be almost 100 years old. He served for two years and he decided to be buried at Florida National Cemetery, meaning that this is what defined his entire life, and it's up to us to tell that story. NCA is committed to sharing the memory of these veterans in perpetuity. This is part of our memorialization effort. We not only memorialize the veteran in the National Cemetery, but in any way that we can. And so as the public engages with media in new ways, NCA is changing to meet those expectations, to share the memory, the stories of sacrifice of these veterans in any way that we can engage with the public. What I'm trying to convey to them is how the National Cemetery are about democracy and about being an American. Regardless of your race, ethnicity, or class, you're all veterans. And the people of the United States have decided that that is a special status that is beyond all of our traditional categories. So they all lie together or they're all memorialized together in one landscape. When you visit any cemetery, you're looking at a headstone with a name and a date. But there's so much more in between those two dates. So we dig and we find their life story. Fred Kalinchuk, what you're seeing right now, he's buried here, but this isn't just his headstone, this is his life. Once I go back and I see those hills of white again, I realize that my one story was just a tiny little drop in that entire bucket of white fields. And I can look at any one of those headstones and kind of feel the same connection now. 
that I feel for Fred Kalinchuk or my own brothers that I served with.